I have a bus driver named Dave who has never received any credit. And he's been working for me for almost 10 years now. This man, this man has successfully gotten me to every single comedy show on time without fail. If I had to describe him to you, okay? Dave looks like the word America. <laughs> Not America, America. He's about six feet tall, he's white, he has a gray beard, and he wears a trucker hat. And he's gotta be one of the most hardworking people I have ever met. Now when I say hardworking, hey, I'm on the road 46 weeks out of the year, so I know. Differences, I fly home every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Dave stays on that bus and he gets it to the next city where we meet him. He works anniversaries, holidays, special moments. Christmas time, I was with my family. Dave was driving that bus on the East Coast. New Year's, I was with my family. Dave was on the East Coast driving that bus. One of the hardest working people I've ever met. I just want to give him a shout out. In addition to being hardworking, he's, uh, he's, he's very honest. Now, when I say honest, I don't mean, oh, he does his taxes right. <laughs> I mean painfully honest, no filter honest. He talks the way people used to. He does not have time to mince words. He just calls it like he sees it. Before me, he used to uh, work with a man by the name of Kenny G. Grammy Award winner, amazing, amazing music. Um, one day, Kenny G was on his tour bus that Dave was driving, and I guess the two of them had a little discussion, and Kenny G used some words that Dave would have rather him not have used, and instead of getting into it with him, this is what Dave does. <laughs> Kicked Kenny G off of his own bus. <laughs> because he would rather lose his job than lose his self-respect. And that's the man I work with. He's a bad dude. You guys are clapping, but you should have seen the interview. Oh man, that was a good one. <laughs> he looks at me and he says, hey, let's get one thing straight. I don't give a shit who you are. You treat me right, I'll treat you right. You pay me on time, you'll live. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that he keeps that tour bus squeaky clean. And he takes a lot of pride in that as well. One night, I was drinking on the bus, and I go to put my, my cup down, and I missed the table. And the cup hit the floor. I didn't get up right away to get the cup because I figured I'm gonna get up in a couple minutes and make myself another drink. I'll pick up the cup then. Dave sees the cup on the floor and then he looks at me and says, hey, I ain't your mama, pick that shit up. <laughs> I get to the back of the bus and I'm like, wait a minute, I pay him. <laughs> hey Dave, shut up. Yeah, I'll be in the back in my room, thank you. <laughs> Drive safe. And people tell me, you work with a man who talks that way to you? Why? Let me tell you why. Because he's honest. With Dave, you know exactly what you get. Nowadays, it is so hard for me to tell who's being genuine and who has an agenda. And with him, you know exactly where you stand. If he likes you, he loves you. And if not, you're on the curb with Kenny G. That being said, I have a story to share. About a year and a half ago, maybe longer, we're on the bus and we're heading down the highway. Just so you have kind of an understanding of the bus layout, let's say this is the front. Here's Dave the driver, empty seat, and then a sliding door that goes in between him and the rest of the tour bus. My buddy Alfred and I are in the living room portion and we're watching TV. We're watching the news. And on the news, 
there's this person who is running for some type of office. No particular office. And I guess their big plan is to erect a structure between two bodies of land. Somewhere. And I guess they want one side of the structure to finance the entire project. Well, my buddy Alfred and I, we have a lot of family that works in construction, and we know a bad job when we see one. So we started to voice our opinion out loud about how we felt about this person and what they wanted to do. We're being very loud. So loud, Dave can hear us. And then we hear Dave. <laughs> America. I yell out to Dave. I said, be quiet, Dave. This isn't about you. He taps a button on the dashboard that activates the sliding door. And when the door is about that far from closing, he yells out, I'm building a wall. I couldn't even get upset because I was too much in shock over the fact that that came out of someone four feet away from me. My buddy Alfred and I, we look like chickens. We're like <laughs> My cell phone goes off. I take out my phone and there's a text message from Dave. And I said, that's right. He better say I'm sorry. He better say just kidding. I open up the text message and it says, and you're paying for it. And people tell me, you still work with him after that? Yes, I do. I trust that man with my life every single night. I know where his heart's at. He can say whatever he wants. At the end of the day, he still has to drive around the king of the Mexicans.